Ngayon ay magsasagot naman tayo kung paano mag-solve at mag-graph ng linear inequality. So, meron tayong apat na problems dito. Dalawa yung um, linear systems ng inequality at dalawa naman yung inequalities. At kailangan natin siyang i-graph at i-solve. So, so, problem number one, we have... So, kailangan lang natin i-change siya sa y equals mx plus b form. Or the slope-intercept form. Pero this time, instead na equal sign yung gagamitin natin, ang gagamitin natin is ang inequality. So, ang una natin gagawin is to have y by itself. So, add 3x on both sides. Para ma-cancel natin to, leaving us with 2y greater than 3x plus 4. At since y is still not by itself, i-divide natin yung lahat ng terms by 2. Leaving us with y greater than 3 over 2x plus 2. So ito ngayon yung ating inequality at kailangan natin siyang i-graph. Sa pag-graph ng inequality, since greater than yung symbol niya, kapag greater than or greater than or equal to yung symbol ng inequality niyo, mag-shade kayo sa region above the line. So to sketch the graph, kuha tayo ng xy plane. At i-graph natin si y greater than 3 over 2x plus 2. So, para rin lang siyang pag-graph ng linear equation, so magsa-start tayo sa y-intercept, which is 2. So, 1, 2. Ito yung ating first point. At yung second point naman natin, ay hahanapin natin gamit ang slope. Positive 3 over 2 means um, 3 units up. So, we have 1, 2, 3. At saka, 2 units papunta sa kanan. 1, 2. So, ito ngayon yung ating second point. So, since kailangan lang natin is two points to the terminal line, so, i-graph na natin siya. So, connect the dots, but since greater than yung ating symbol at walang equal sign, so, broken line yung gagamitin natin sa ating linya. So, ito yung linya. So, above the line, tapos broken line. So, pag-shade naman ng ating graph, since above the line siya, ito yung below ng ating line at ito naman yung above. So, ito na ngayon yung graph ng y greater than 3 over 2x plus 2. So, ito yung solutions ng ating inequality. So, let's go ahead and answer number 2. At sa problem number 2 naman, we have 2x minus 3y less than or equal to 6. So, again, kailangan natin siyang gawing y inequality mx plus b. So, tanggalin natin si 2x by subtracting 2x on both sides. At magdi-divide naman tayo ng negative 3. So, pag nag-divide tayo ng negative sa ating inequality, magkakaroon ng pagbabago dun sa sign ng inequality. So, magkakaroon tayo ngayon ng y greater than or equal to 2 over 3x minus 2. So, ito ngayon yung ating inequality. So, again, nag-switch tayo ng sign from less than or equal to to greater than or equal to kasi nag-divide tayo ng negative sa ating uh, mga terms. So, since greater than ulit siya, we'll shade above the line at solid line naman yung ating graph. So, ito ngayon yung ating xy plane negative 2, 1, 2. 
positive 2, 3, so up 2 units, 1, 2, 2 units, and then 3 units to the right. You always move to the right, never to the left. So ito ngayon yung ating 1, 2, 3. Second point, now you draw the line using a straight edge. At since greater than na siya, above the line pa rin yung ating. So ito yung solution at ito yung graph ng ating inequality. Now yung problem number three, systems of linear inequality naman siya. So mag-graph tayo ng dalawang inequality. So sa number three, we have y less than 3x minus 1 at y greater than or equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 2. Since yung ating inequality ay nasa slope-intercept form na, hindi na natin siya kailangang isolve. So we'll go ahead and graph our inequality. So ito yung ating xy plane. Gamitin natin yung red pen sa first line. So we have negative 1, negative 1, up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1. So 1 to the right. So ito yung ating first inequality. Since less than siya, broken line yung gagamitin natin. Less than means below the line. So ito yung region na below the line. So ito ngayon yung una nating inequality. Yung susunod nating inequality ay yung graph naman ng pangalawang linya. So start at positive 2, 1, 2. Negative 2 over 3, so down 2, 1, 2, and then 3 across. 1, 2, 3. So, ito yung ating line at solid line yung gagamitin natin kasi greater than or equal to yung ating inequality. And since greater than siya, we'll shade the regions uh, above the line. So, above the green line will be this region. At ang solution natin ngayon, yun yung intersection ng ating line 1 at line 2. So, to finish our answer, yung ating shaded region will be the intersection of line 1 and line 2. Kung saan nag-overlap yung ating dalawang linya. So, ito yung solution ng ating linear system. So, yan yung kaibahan ng problem 1 and 2 at problem 3 and 4. So sa 1 and 2, isang linya lang yung ginagamit natin. Sa 3 and 4 naman, dalawa na ngayon yung linya na kailangan natin i-graph at i-solve. Now, dun sa last example, we have number 4, 3y, 3x minus 9, 2y, less than negative 2 over 3x, plus 1. So, kailangan natin siyang isolve muna. So, ang gagawin natin sa 3y ay i-divide natin ng 3 yung bawat terms. At meron tayong y less than x minus 9, over, 9 divided by 3, which is 3. So, ito yung ating solution dun sa first line. At dun sa second line naman, we have 2y less than negative 2 over 3 plus 1. So since my fraction tayo dito, ang gagawin natin is instead na i-divide, multiply natin siya by 1 half. So parehas lang naman siya. 1 half, 1 half. So pag nag-divide tayo ng 1 half, maka-cancel to, so meron tayong y 
less than. So, i-distribute natin yung 1 half. So, negative 2 over 3x times 1 half is going to be, cancel natin to at saka ito, negative 1 over 3x. At 1 times 1 half is still 1 half, so meron tayong 1 half. So, ang bago nating linear system ngayon ay y less than x minus 3. So, mas madali yung una. Yung pangalawa naman, it took us a little while para makuha natin si y less than negative 1 over 3x plus 1 half. So, ito yung ating bagong linear system na gagamitin natin sa pag-solve ng ating graph. So, sa graph niya, i-graph muna natin yung una. So, gamitin natin siya as the green line. So, negative 3, 1, 2, 3. Up 1, kasi 1 over 1 siya. So, up 1, across 1, at broken line. So, yung una natin lin lin linya, below the line kasi less than siya. So, ito yung ating graph. Now, yung susunod naman ating graph, we'll start at 1 half. So, ito yung 1. So, 1 half is somewhere here in the middle. So, negative 1 over 3. So, that means, so down 1. So, dito, across 3. 1, 2, 3. So, always move, move to the right, never to the left. So, ito yung linya natin. At less than symbol siya. So, broken line ulit. At shade natin siya below the line ulit kasi less than. So, ito yung shade nung second line. At tulad nung ginawa natin kanina, yung overlap yung ating solution. So, kailangan natin shade yung overlap. So, ito yung solution nung ating uh, linear system sa problem number 4.